Well, well the, the fact of the matter is, A, it's expunged. But if you're asking me about the impact of what he did, I, there, is, there, is, there is no, you know, cause for any suspension or, remo or this, you know, uh, from Parliament for this, right? Mm. But first, you have to see what the gap is, right? Uh, was, the, was the oath properly taken? If there was a, if, if there was a distinct gap, not mm. necessarily a long gap between the taking of the oath mm. and the making of these statements, then the oath need not be retaken. That's, that's whether the oath is invalid or not, uh, because what, what a member of parliament is supposed to do is recite the oath in the prescribed form. Mm. Right? Now, if, if, if there's no distinct gap between the oath and, and, this, uh, and these words, that the utterance which he made thereafter, mm. right, then it's a continuation of the oath, and he may have to retake the oath. But the more drastic remedy I, 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 I do, of suspension, because he used these words, right? Mm. Look. I personally don't agree that he should have done it as a member of parliament, but people, people after a distinct gap say, sometimes say Jai Hind, Jai whatever. Now, if, he's, you know, uh, if he is particularly perturbed about what is happening in Palestine, he's justified in doing so, and he can say so. I mean, I wish he had said Jai Hind, Jai Palestine, or you know, also said Jai Hind, Jai Middle East, Aman, or Shanti, or whatever he wanted to do, and Jai Palestine, right? Mm -hmm. Because there, there are two sides to the Israel-Palestinian issue as well. But that's right. OAC's own personal subjective preference. Right? Okay. It's as far as the more dra drastic uh, issue is concerned about mm -hmm. suspending, mm -hmm. I don't think that this is a case for suspension. I hope, it, I hope nobody takes that step, right? Mm. These are early days. We want to uh, build some kind of consensus in Parliament. That's the sec second reason why I'm opposed to it. Apart from the fact I don't think that this attracts suspension. This is not, this is not as some people have been saying, a question of allegiance to Palestine. It can, mm. equally, be, it can equally be interpreted in his favor mm. as being deeply disturbed by the, the, the violence in what is going on in Palestine. So the, right? so, so the contention of many... View. Uh, the contention uh, of many, sir, if I can just ask you, who are, who are, you know, citing the Article 102, and I'm just going to quickly read the article for the context of our viewers who might not mm -hmm. know about it, and this talks about disqualification for membership, and point D in that, if he is not a citizen of India, has voluntarily acquired citizenship of a foreign state, or is under any acknowledgement of allegiance or adherence to a foreign state. So, adherence or allegiance, these are the two words that have been mentioned. You're saying this does not fall within the ambit of that I don't think so he's an Indian citizen and he has sworn allegiance in his oath I take it he has he has I'm on the assumption that as far as his oath is concerned he has stuck strictly to the text of what is prescribed for a member of Parliament's oath and that 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 requires a member of Parliament both to swear allegiance to the territorial integrity of India and to the Constitution of India so I don't think he has, by, by saying Jai Palestine, he has uh, 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 yeah, sworn allegiance to Palestine.